Hi weekday friends, great to see you today. I hope you're having a great day at home and you are doing the best you can with your Zoom classes until we meet again or until you go back to school. Um, today for STEAM, I wanted to think about how a lot of artists and engineers and scientists use or repurpose, so reuse materials or common items um, a different way. So I want you to kind of Think about ideas of things that are maybe around your house or in your house that you could use differently. And I thought we would do a couple of things together today and then maybe you could go off and come up with your own creative ideas and feel free to take a picture um, and share with friends what you've come up with for your repurposing um, STEAM class. Okay, so one idea I had was to maybe use some paper plates, if you have some at your house, and think about what you could create with a paper plate so that it's not a paper plate anymore, it's something totally different. Another idea is to take a paper lunch bag, a brown bag, and instead of using it to hold your lunch or to hold something to eat or pack something, what could you make out of it or how could you reuse it or repurpose it to be something completely different and the third idea i grabbed one of these old paper towel rolls right instead of putting it in the recycle bin i pulled it out and i thought hmm this could be something that we could repurpose or use again a creative different way okay so i'd like to show you a few pictures of ideas to kind of give you um, maybe a head start in thinking about things that you could do. So we're going to look at a couple pictures and then we'll come back. And I wanted to show you a couple of ideas I had for repurposing um, things around the house. Okay, so let's look at these pictures together. So when I see these kids playing with these boxes, this is what my house looks like. I can tell you honestly, we always grab those Amazon boxes or whatever boxes come to the house and then a spaceship is born or a car is born or a secret hideout is born. So if you have any boxes around the house that you can reuse or repurpose to create something new, that's an option. Here we see egg cartons, a cereal box, a tissue box, a water jug, some cardboard boxes, a paper towel roll, lots of things that might be in your recycle bin that can be used to create something. And this looks like a maze of some sort. And this looks like some pouch caps that are used as tires and maybe a little hole is cut out for a figure, an action figure, there's Superman there. And that looks like a toilet paper roll that's decorated to be a race car. So that looks like a really fun way to reuse a toilet paper roll. Maybe that's something you can try too. Welcome back. So I have a glue stick. Maybe you have one too or some wet glue. And I have scissors and hopefully you have a safe pair of scissors or your parents or an adult with you can use scissors with you if you need to cut. I have like a bin here that has kind of stickers and random things in it that we sometimes use to create things. So maybe you have like an art bin with paper or stickers or something similar. I have some markers. I have some colored pencils. I have some blue painter's tape. We use that a lot here. <laughs> and I have um, some googly eyes. So I was thinking we could make puppets out of the brown paper bags. So if you take your bag, you can take the part, hold it uh, upside down and take the part that has a little bit of a flap. And this could be a mouth and you could make a face. So you could use a marker to do that. Or if you want, if you have googly eyes like I do, I might just glue on googly eyes real quick. So here's my googly eyes. And I'm repurposing this bag and turning it into a puppet. And maybe later I can put on a puppet show for my dog or my little sister or big brother or parents if they feel like watching. So you can make some puppets and 
use color and design and come up with any way to repurpose this bag into a toy or some kind of puppet. You put your hand through it and you can move it and make it talk. Hello, hello. <laughs> so you can come up with a kind of puppet show and maybe you do something for Thanksgiving for family members. You can come up with some kind of puppet show about Thanksgiving and giving thanks or some kind of turkey talk show, whatever you can come up with. Um, so that's an idea with the brown bags of making a puppet or more than one puppet and having a puppet show. Okay, and another idea I had was to take this toilet paper roll and somebody or saw somewhere trying to remember where, but I saw that if you cut little slivers on one end, so I'm going to snip these slivers all the way around, so I'm just clipping down all the way around one end of my toilet paper roll. See how I did that? And then you can kind of bend them back and open them up. And that could be like a funny hairdo. So again, if you have googly eyes, we have a lot of googly eyes, um, or a marker or some kind of crayon or stickers, you can make a funny face or some kind of character. And I think we saw in the picture too before that if you had like a little miniature uh, figurine, you could make this into a car too. So your drawing skills are probably way better than mine, but you could come up with some kind of figure and maybe I don't know maybe this guy can be part of your puppet show or um, plays in a different way around the house but this fun hairdo I thought was kind of cool and then I was thinking even like I have a sticker here you can put stickers on it or maybe this could be like stickers in the hairdo something kind of fun to come up with to repurpose or reuse the toilet paper roll Maybe he has a sticker on his shirt or something like that. <laughs> and certainly if you have a popsicle stick or something, you could glue it in like that and they could be part of your puppet show. Maybe this guy and this guy gets to be friends and they're together in your puppet show. <laughs> so think about all the ways that you can repurpose some of the things around your house and just have a really good time using your imagination to create something different from the object that you are repurposing. So I hope you have a really great time and I hope you have a really nice Thanksgiving and have fun creating something new.